guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm here to do my review video for episode 210 of Fear the Walking Dead. I gotta say, this was a really amazing episode. I, If you want to watch my reaction video for the episode, it won't be posted here on YouTube because I've been having a lot of problems with it, uh, but I'm going to upload it on my Facebook page. So go to my Facebook, you're gonna find uh, the episode there and I hope that you guys enjoy that video too. Now let's talk about uh, a little bit about the episode. The episode itself was really good, a uh, really strong episode. I like the fact that we are getting to know more survivors. I'm actually a little bit more happy to, to have some uh, I, I like the Mexican setting, the Mexican culture, how they are developing that, but one of the things that they can't do too much is separate themselves too much from the original concept of The Walking Dead. Not saying that they have to go back and be The Walking Dead, because Fear of the Walking Dead is a complete different thing, but they do have to stay uh, true to what we have learned about the apocalypse from The Walking Dead. So, and you know, this show actually has to go, like, follow like a different route, but get to the point where The Walking Dead is. With the uh, infected, with how the world is moving and all of that. So, it's very interesting for me that in this episode we didn't have Nick, we didn't have Luciana, we didn't have the this whole town that we have been knowing for the past two last two episodes. We actually focus a little bit more on the hotel that Alicia, Madison, and Strand are in it. So I'm I'm actually really excited to see more because I feel like this hotel setting it's so amazing because it gives them so many opportunities like you can open a door and there can be uh, a lot of supplies you can open another door and there can be a room full of walkers so it's very interesting to have this setting i think they they can like have so many things with this setting that i am actually going to love um we met some new characters uh, one of them being Brenda Strong, who, if you're not a The Hunter fan, you're not gonna get why I was excited on uh, my reaction. It's just that uh, Brenda Strong played a character on The Hundred, the same show that Alicia Demon and Carrie had, uh, uh, was working on when she was not working on Fear. So uh, it was really cool because they also played opposite sides. and they were really good on the 100, so I'm hoping that maybe they can uh, have that same thing here, or maybe just their own, I'm like, I'm not going to say that they should copy the 100, that's the worst show that they can copy off, but it was really cool to have these two really strong characters from that show here, and I, you know what, Brenda Strong is just amazing, so I'm so glad that she's part now of of the story, because I don't think she's dead. Um, but yeah, I'm very, 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 very excited. Um, we're gonna know more about, uh, I hope that we know more about this guest that are the other, uh, group. And now we have our main characters being part of this. So there's gonna be like a, a, a power struggle between the two of them, between those two groups, to try to, uh, take over the hotel. Who will win? I don't know. Will they like stop to, like uh, because right now our group they don't have too much trouble with this guest room like this guest uh, 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 characters they don't have a lot of pro just by what Alicia did by opening the door and letting the walkers go after them but uh, they don't have too much trouble so maybe if by some reason they can like get together again maybe they can uh, um uh form some sort of uh, alliances i don't know honestly uh it was really good then we have the whole storyline uh with chris and and travis chris you know what for before they run into this other group of kids uh i like the fact that chris was really happy that his dad like, he felt like his dad, for the first time in a really long time, chose him over his family. 
Chris is a really young kid and apparently he had a lot of issues uh, going into the apocalypse so for him the fact that his dad chose him it was really important he was just remembering things it was really really sweet uh, until he found find some kids some not kids but some people like guys around his age a little bit older that he can look up to because he's not looking to just be like settle in some place and wait for this to be over I think Chris kind of also feels like maybe this is not going to be fixed anytime soon and that they need to survive and the fact that he is like when you meet the cool kids in high school you know, when you meet the cool kids in high school and you want to be part of that group, you show off and you do a lot of things. Like when they ask how many people, oh, I have killed 17 people and I did this and I did that and you just praise yourself. And that's what Chris was doing. This is a really off, like, uh, not so much like as high school, but for Chris and for, he's in that age, that's how I saw him working himself into this group of, of guys. They have been waiting for a, a, a world where rules uh, don't apply. Maybe they are the outcasts, maybe they are... Uh, and they finally feel like all their weirdness and all their craziness have finally paid off and they can live in this crazy world by doing the things that they thought that society have to tell them that it was bad. Now, apparently it's not that bad. It's it's good and if you think about it you never see uh, what how uh, a, a person becomes in a like a villain you know and this looks like Chris could be like a governor or he can transform himself into a Negan because he's really ruthless he doesn't care he doesn't have sympathy about people he's just I need this I'm gonna kill to take it you know he's just like that that's he, how his mind is programmed right now so it's really like amazing that we are actually getting to see how much this world is affecting him and how like right now Travis is not a good influence in, on him because even though Travis tries to help him he's not doing it in the right way but uh, he's also letting things happen you know I mean there's no much he can do you know but he was holding a gun he shot the guy he killed him and even though he has killed before Travis doesn't know about that so I don't know how is he gonna help him uh, when Chris just doesn't want to hear him you know uh, it wasn't that interesting until he, they went into the barn and there was a, a, a trailer that looked like the one uh, Dale had on The Walking Dead and the f farm and the fact that they had a barn and all of that uh, it was kind of crazy it was kind of crazy that they like do so much things about The Walking Dead here when they always say that they don't want to look like The Walking Dead but anyways, um, it was a really good episode overall, I liked it, uh, it was really action packed and uh, I, I honestly can't wait for next Sunday to watch the next episode. Um, I just wish that uh, Brenda Strong comes back also next week because I love her and yeah. Anyways guys, thank you so much for joining me one more week. If you want to see my reaction video for episode 10 of season 2 of Fear the Walking Dead, you can go and check it out on my Facebook page. Uh, the link will be in the description below and please, if you love the episode, let me know in the comment section below what do you think, your favorite parts, what do you think about Alicia, were you happy, if you're the Hunter uh, fan, were you happy that Brenda Strong is also in this show? Uh, she has worked on a million shows, I think, but uh, that's the last one that I remember her from and plus Alicia was also there, so that's the connection uh, but yeah like I said let me know in the comment section below thumbs up for this video if you love Alicia if you love Fear the Walking Dead and if you think Chris is great great give it a thumbs up also subscribe and yeah I'll see you guys next week for another episode of Fear the Walking Dead bye guys